Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to go over stem cell seminars and seven key questions to ask to separate reality versus hype. Now, I was the first physician in the world to do many of these orthopedic stem cell injections, so I'm going to give you the real skinny here. There's been an explosion in clinics offering stem cells in the last few years. And the most aggressive companies are putting on loads of seminars blanketing major metro areas. Many of these are aggressive high pressure sales events. How can you tell what's real versus hype? Here's seven key questions to ask. Number one, what kind of stem cells do you use? If they tell you they use amniotic or cord blood stem cells, that's a scam. Our internal research and that of third parties show that these are dead tissue products with no live stem cells. Number two, what type of imaging guidance do you use to inject the cells? If they claim that they don't use any guidance and the cells just magically find their way to where they're supposed to go, that's a problem because that's not a credible orthopedic stem cell therapy. A credible orthopedic stem cell therapy uses guidance like ultrasound or fluoroscopy to place the cells exactly where they need to be. Number three, who injects the cells? This should be an MD or DO level provider, i.e. a licensed physician and not a physician's assistant or a nurse practitioner. And the doctor should have extra certifications like those through the Interventional Orthopedics Foundation about how to do this stuff right. Number four, at what facility will the cells be injected? A chiropractic office is not an appropriate place for this kind of thing to happen. The room should look exactly like what I've got off to the left there. Number five, where's the published clinical research on your procedure? There needs to be many clinical studies with hundreds of patients each on their exact procedure. I've got my CV off on the right there and they need to have a similar one focused on their procedure. Now be careful here because they will throw papers at you that have nothing to do with the procedure they're doing. Who's a candidate? If everyone who can pay is a candidate and there's no medical criteria or grading of good, fair, or poor, then that's not appropriate. Every medical procedure ever devised has a candidacy grading for that patient. Because of X, you're a good candidate. Because of Y, you're a bad candidate. That's what you need to expect. And how many patients have failed to respond to your procedure? The answer for a real medical procedure, including a stem cell procedure, should be lots. If they claim that nobody has ever failed or it's very rare that patients fail this procedure, that's not credible. For more information, see Regenix.com where orthopedic stem cells were invented. Thanks so much and have a great day.